cracks in the walls, leaking sewer water, trash all over the place. These are just a few of the conditions. Residents in Washington Heights in a specific apartment building say they are dealing with. And now an arrest warrant has been issued for their landlord. Officials say there are more than 700 violations at just two of the buildings he owns at 705 and 709, 170th Street in Washington Heights. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins us with more. Marsha. Well, Dick and Dana, I went inside some of the apartments owned by Daniel Obershalom in Washington Heights, and I can tell you the conditions that the tenants are forced to endure are jaw-dropping. But don't believe me. Take a look at the pictures, and I have to warn you, some of them are pretty tough to watch. There's rats, there's leakage, there's um, asbestos. There's, it's really bad. We have gone sometimes weeks without electricity, I mean, hot water because they're negligent. Nelly lives in a first floor apartment at 709 170th Street in Washington Heights, sharing pictures with CBS2 of the decrepit conditions that led the city to issue an arrest warrant for building owner Daniel Oheb Shalom. Their stomach turning from the rats caught on tar paper she puts on her kitchen floor, the rat holes they live in, the falling plaster in her kitchen. But then she took me into her living room and pointed to a pipe from the apartment upstairs and attempts to fix a wall because I get um, feces uh, leakage from upstairs. It's it's feces from upstairs. Yes, sometimes I don't even want to um, even take a shower with the water because it comes up brown. CBS2 also found open trash cans that attract rats, standing water filled with debris, debris in the hallways, broken locks, and on and on. The city says that after years of trying unsuccessfully to get him to fix things, they finally issued a warrant for his arrest. The worst landlord in New York City is Daniel Ohub Shalom. Just in two buildings, he's got over 700 C violations, which are dangerous life, health, and safety violations. We caught up with him. He's facing $3 million in fines and penalties, and he's going to jail for 60 days. Officials say the landlord will be sent to Rikers. He also owns other properties. This isn't the only one. He owns a lot of other properties besides the ones in Washington Heights. What about them? He, he owns a large portfolio, and we have continuing investigations and work with all of the properties. We will continue this march. One of his properties is on West 46th Street in Hell's Kitchen. Assemblyman Tony Simone says he's glad the city is finally doing something. Folks like him should not own apartment buildings. Uh, he's a criminal. He is a slumlord. If you saw the conditions that I put, you probably have, Marsha, the tenants in my district, they're invisible. No human being should live like that. And every excuse in the book has been given on why he hasn't kept up his apartment uh, up to full repair, and they're all BS. Now, I left messages for Daniel Oheb Shalom at his offices in Manhattan and California, but my calls were not returned. Officials say he is currently in California and that they're working with local authorities to extradite him. So there you have it. Our hearts go out to those people living. It's, it's heartbreaking. Horrendous. All right. Thank you, Marcia.